1500s guy. Oh, Sun Team, okay. Um, with Great Tusk, oh, of all things. Each round would have been good against it if it wasn't for the Great Tusk. I just need to deal with that. If I can deal with that, I should be okay. But this actually looks like a pretty bad team for me to face. I do not like this. I will go Landorus Heatran. I will bring Raging Bolts. Ninetales is actually reasonable here. Urshifu is fine, but Sun. No, I think I will bring Ninetales here. And it's odd to bring Ninetales in the back, but actually, you usually bring the screen tail in the back to disable Encore, so why can't you do that with the Ninetales? Something I probably do need to keep in mind. And just need to go with that a bit more often, if it warrants it. One of the nice things I like doing against Tornis is just encoring them turn one, but I don't think that works here. Especially because they just lead with nine, uh, with nine tails. They can lead with Torkoal and also just switch in Torkoal and invalidate my Encore. You should never lead a load of nine tails into a team that has a Torkoal anyway. Because if they lead with Torkoal, your son is overwritten immediately. It's a cool training card. Mm-hmm. I'm content with this. So, a Terra Fairy Sunny Day choice specs Moonblast with KO my Landorus. There's nothing I can do about that. I will Rock Slide, and I will sub. And the sub is going to be important. I am strongly assuming they're specs. On some teams, you should be specs. Because the specs compounds with the protosynthesis boost and maybe even helping hands. And specs is the most common flutter main, regardless. So. If they Shadow Ball here, that's a good play. But then my Landorus gets off a Rock Slide and then it'll be able to get off another one. Oh, well, they just immediately attack. So that means they can KO my Landorus here, right? They did Shadow Ball. That's reasonable. And I still get a sub, though, so that's good. Massive damage. Oko into Tornadus because of critical hit. I deserve it. If you've already seen some of the previous episodes, you know that I deserve that. Based on matching probabilities. How much did it do to the fast man? I only looked at the Tornadus because it disappeared. Is that in Thunderclap range? Because if it is, I'm in a really good position. Because I can sack my Landorus, then Thunderclap here, the Flutter Main, and even if it's Great Tusk, then I can um, get the Magma Storm because I'm behind the sub. But there's the... Okay, so two shots. And they didn't... They didn't um, Tailwind. So they have to Shadow Ball the Landorus here. Which means that I get off my attack. Now, which is better? Okay, the Flutter Main, I think. And it will re get redirected into the Raging Bolt if they miss the KO with the Shadow Ball. Which actually, I think, Damage Instincts is telling me I live. But, apparently not. Maybe that was a roll. Like, that would have been close. I'm not always right with the Damage Instincts. I'm just right a lot of the time. Because I got so much experience. But of course this is going to connect. It'd be very nice if it did just connect. It's life orb, okay. I'm gonna assume it's a fast one. Oh, I guess I don't deserve it. Um So I think I have to play for that being in Thunderclap range. Which it very easily could be because I'm booster energy. If it's not, I'm probably gonna lose. So I will Thunderclap with a Terra. 
and I will Magma Storm to cover a switch into Great Tusk. And also covers Raging Bolt getting dropped to Draco into Shadow Ball. Mm -hmm. There's the switch. So I get off, hopefully, a Magma Storm unless they KO me. It is Great Tusk, so Nine Tails was a good bring. Now, hopefully, this is Draco into Raging Bolt. If it's Draco into Raging Bolt, I'm feeling somewhat optimistic. Is Draco okay? So I get off my Magma Storm. That did so much. What? <laughs> Raging Bolt is strong, but this might KO, right? His Great Tusk has terrible special defense. Not quite. Okay. Um... No, this still doesn't work, does it? Because they can get double KO here regardless. So I'm going to get some Thunderclap Chip into this, and I'll protect this. But this still doesn't work. So I guess that had to be Dragon Pulse into the Raging Bolt that turn. Um, and Magma Storm. But that doesn't work if they just stay in a Shadow Ball. So... If they're not Choice Scarf on the Great Tusk, I can still do it. Nice Chip. There's the headlong rush. If I get a double protect as well, I might still be able to do it. Because that's not quite enough. I will definitely go for a double protect, there's no reason not to. But Ninetales... Depending on the speed of the Flutter main, it could do it, but I'm pretty sure it's out of Blizzard range, so I might need to freeze it. If they Thunderclap and Headlong Rush, they KO the Ninetales. Is the way out going for some shenanigans by not attacking with Blizzard? No, I think it has to be Blizzard, and I will attempt the double protect. And they're defensively terroring out of the, the weakness now anyway, so... I think I need Blizzard Freezes. Now, Terra Electric, that makes sense. No double protect, but if they doubled into the Ninetales anyway... Which they didn't. So, you know, a Freeze can do it. Like, I definitely need a freeze somewhere. And I also need to outspeed the Flutter main in the first place, which I usually don't do. But definitely need to freeze. But do not, so I believe I have lost. Because this will put me in range of Specs Boom Blast. Or just win immediately. You know, that as well. Because I think that I was actually okay if I just connected with that Magma Storm. Because Fluttermane would have dropped. And then Ninetales might win on its own in the endgame. So, yeah, an another loss to Magma Storm miss. It's going to happen. It's just annoying that it's happening an unreasonable amount. The person who's keeping track. I definitely missed more Magma Storms than I've hit, right? In the ratio of like 90 to 10. Or 9, nine to 1, I should say. That's simplified. Because of course you should always simplify. As I tell my students. But yeah, like I, I think that the Magnum Storm is getting a little unreasonable even with the Zoom Lens. But to be fair, in the actual locals that I've been going to, Magma Storm has been not like not missing at important times. I think like maybe one I can remember. But yeah, that's a cool team. So Nine Tails and Landorus seems like a pretty reasonable lead. Get the Intimidate on the half Flame if they leave with that. I 
Urshifu isn't very good here. There's three things that hard beat it. Keytrans great. As it always is. And... Say what the last one is. Superior is not ideal. There's three things that would exist grass, but again, if I, I I need to factor in that it could terror, fire, and grass. It only loses the rating box, so I'm going to bring superior with the intention of terroring it, terrestrializing it. You know, one of those words, probably both. <coughs> So that's one of the things that I, like, when I'm looking at the team, like, oh, Superior is bad here, but wait a minute, Superior on this team is also a fire type. Is it actually bad still? That's something I need to, to think about, too. Because on my initial scan through it is usually, is grass good or bad here? But also fire. And if I'm bringing Heatran, fire is probably still pretty good. That's not a cool trainer card. Reasonable. Now I believe I just veil in stomping the raging bolt, right? And that should allow me to survive even the specs hyper voice. And then next turn I can go for disable into the pre marina if I want. Because if I get this damage into the Raging Bolts, then Superior is freed up a lot. Because that was the only thing that really was stopping it. Factoring in that I could go for Terrifier. Of course, the Pre-Marina I should probably not Terrifier against. But that's perfectly fine. Is this is a Lander switch in, that's very reasonable. However, it's also incredibly brave in the face of a Ninetales. I'll take damage into Ogre Pond, given that this does 90% to it. Absolutely worth it. Big damage. Okay, not 90%. Oh, that was a mistake. I mean, was it? Because they can KO my Ninetales here, so I can't necessarily Encore them. Hmm. Do I terrify my Ninetales so that I definitely get the Encore? Because then I can't terrify my Superior. That doesn't matter against the Raging Bolt. The Ogre Pond's basically dealt with. It doesn't matter against the Pre-Marina. So I think yes. I think that this is worth it. Because that pre-marina must be stopped. They didn't terror, so I would have lived the Ivy Cudgel, so this was an unnecessary um, terror, unless they get a critical hit. Didn't factoring in that they could follow me as well. Oh, this was a bad play if they follow me. They didn't. Okay, that's fine. See, so yeah, I didn't need to terror there. But I'm fine with this. It, it's worth, like, yeah, I didn't factor in follow me. Follow me away the Encore would have been really bad because then the Hyper Voice and do massive damage. But this is a good position. So Ogapon's dealt with already. Pre Marina is useless. Oh, I can also disable it this turn as well. This is Landorus, so um, I just get our Blizzard instead. Uh, what did I have in the back? Heatran and Superior, okay. So yeah, my Terrifier made no difference on the Superior, so yeah, that's fine. Um, and Veil should allow me to live a Scarf Landorus and a Banded 1A outspeed. So let's just get some damage into the Pre-Marina. Mm -hmm. Defensive Terror. By going for flying slash water. Probably should have gone for some potential into that. Just in case it wasn't the flying one. Yeah, it's the flying. So they won't get KO'd to the blizzard. But they are Scarf. So that's fine. But we're living because of Ale. They still two-shot it. And this will two-shot this. 
No, it won't because of Intimidate. So I do need to be just a little careful of this Pretty Marina. Although, this is clearly just superior and Stomping Tantrum again because it's a guaranteed Stomping Tantrum. And I can still just Stomping Tantrum that, ninth, that Pre Marina slot forever. This is the final turn of Encore, I believe. And their Landorus is currently useless. Because this is not much. Like so. And this is now in range of a third Stomping Tantrum. I take that back. So instead I need to go for Giga Drain. I'm not risking Leaf Storm. There is no way I'm risking Le Leaf Storm. Because... Giga Drain and Stomping Tantrum will be enough. If they protect, doesn't matter. Because Landris is useless, and if they switch the Raging Bolts, they have to take an extra turn switching back in, and then I should still be fine. Oh, this is definitely a protect. So I could have Leaf Stormed and Stomping Tantrum, but like the, I, I think I'm still okay just going for this. Like they're plus four on the Pre Marina, so is, do I need to Leaf Storm just because the Landorus switch in should let them live? Like based on how things have been going, just now, yes, yeah, plus four. I think I need to Leaf Storm. Like they should very much switch back to Landorus here for another Intimidate. Like, what? What? You gave up all your boosts. You had to try and lift there, right? Huh. Interesting. Well, now I've got a double power stomping tantrum into the Raging Bolt cancelling out my Intimidates, right? So that's not enough. So if I switch to Heatran here... And now double power Stomping Tantrum into the Raging Bolt. They Rock Slide, oh no. See, I'm switching because I'm assuming this is a Terror Blast. And if they Terror Blast into the Heatran, I'm still in a great position. And double power Stomping Tantrum should maybe get to this Raging Bolt. Like, I'm minus two, right? But then it's back to normal. There's the Terror Blast. If it's into Landorus, very good play. But, as expected, it had to be superior. Good. And now Double Power Stomping Tantrum... ...is not quite enough. So I lose my Landorus here. Okay. Now, is Terror Blast enough to get the Ninetales? So it's going to be a close end game. I think if I KO the um, Landorus this turn, then I'm still okay. So I'll Magma Storm the Landorus, and I will Blizzard. They stay in. Terror Blast might not KO because of the Snow Boost, but I think it still will. Because, you know, it's boosted by Terror and all that. But then if I KO the Landorus, then the Pre Marina and the Raging Bolt surely can't beat my... Yeah, so, so I, sh I should win if I just connect the Magma Storm now. Because Superior will win. Because the Raging Bolt is just so low. Mm -hmm. Yep, had to be Terror Blast. Just don't miss Magma Storm. Because if I do, I lose Superior. So, Crit might have mattered. Probably didn't. But this Magma Storm absolutely matters. And I've already missed four very important ones. But connect this one. Good. So Superior should win. Superior. I will Giga Drain this Raging Bolt. There is no way I'm missing. Because they haven't calm minded yet, there's no way they are strong enough to KO me. So I will attempt to Magma Storm. There's no point subbing because the Hyper Voice goes through sub. I will Giga Drain because it definitely connects. I'm not risking the Leaf Storm miss. Hmm. 
happened, then the game should be over. They can't mind here, it doesn't matter, two Giga Drains wins. Yep, this type of voice. That's not enough. Even if this misses, Giga Drain will win. Oh good, I got another miss out of the way. Thank you, Heatran. There we go. Like I know, this is still getting unreasonable, but that one didn't matter, so thank you for getting that one out of the way. <laughs> yeah, what's that, six now that I've missed, I think? The ratio is surely not right. And I do hope that someone is counting. It is always the GCs, though. Things always go wrong in the GC. Even if it's just RNG is clearly against me. Which again, it's not. I'm a math teacher. That's not how it works. But it's definitely how it works. Oh, 1400s guy. Oh, with Lilic. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, so I faced, I, I went to a local um, yesterday, in fact, and um, walking weight Fluttermane whomped on my team. There was like nothing I could do. Like, Walking Wake is the worst matchup that I've found so far for this team. So hopefully I'm just going to dodge all of them in EUIC, but yeah, it's a really bad matchup. If they lead with Flutterma like Specs, Fluttermane, and Life Orb, uh, Walking Wake, there is very little I can do. I'll leave with Raging Bolt here. It's because the Hydro Steam works in the sun. Like, that that's the killer bit. Um, this is where I wish I had Gastrodon or something. Um, I think I figured out because I didn't bring Superior into that match, so I think I worked out that Superior would be reasonable into it. Uh, Heatran is obviously coming. Like, if I deal with the Walking Wake, Heatran is much better. So I need to deal with the Walking Wake. And then, mm, Landorus isn't as ideal because of the Articuno. Urshifu is fine if the Fluttermane is gone. Hmm, but actually not really. Ninetales just for stopping the sun. Yeah, I'll go with Ninetales. Ninetales in the back for Encore Disable stuff is the intention. But yeah, the, like the sun, sun Walking Wake is, as far as I have found, my worst matchup. It was really, really bad to be able to defeat. Um, that's a cool trainer card. Like, I forfeit turn two of the finals, um, because they just got a double KO because I got the prediction wrong. But it is not Walking Wake and... Fluttermane. Okay. This is not too bad, then. Definitely could be better, but it's not too bad. So, yeah, Calm Mind. And do I switch to Heatran, or do I get a Leaf Storm? It's a shame I didn't leave with Ninetales for the Veil. I believe I Leaf Storm. Because I need to save my Heatran for against the... Um, the Torkoal. Nice boost. That's not going to be enough to KO the Indeedy next turn. The Dragon Pulse might, because I don't think I saw a Psychic Seed. It's just going to be Trick Room, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, is this where they Terra Psychic? And drop their resistance to... Nope, it's just follow me again. That's fine. So if they're Expanding Force, they're not on the ground. So they don't get the boost from it. It's still a spread, but they don't get the boost. So you see, that doesn't do as much. So that's a mechanic that some people don't actually know. You need to be on the ground to benefit from the boost to um, psychic attacks. And that's why you... S okay. Um, that's why you usually see Articuna go for a Terra so that it lands on the ground and then can benefit from the expanding force. Mm -hmm. Just Torkoal. Perfectly fine with that. Here comes Heatran. And I might Thunderclap this Articuno. Because it's off the ground. If they Terra and land on the ground, very good play. But Heatran is still looking good here. It's worth sacrificing a plus four 
to not lose an entire Pokemon. And also get a Flash Fire boost. Oh. They're Iron Ball. What? No! No, they are actually on the ground, so they do benefit from it. No! That's not fair. It's entirely reasonable, but that's not fair. No! Um, well, that could have been a Dragon Pulse KO. Not happy about that one. That's definitely getting GC'd. Um, I guess there's nothing wrong with a double protect here. So I get to scout out if they have Earth Power. That's really annoying. Like, I guess I theoretically could have figured out the expanding force. Wait, do you need to be on the floor for expanding force to be doubled? To be double target? Now I'm questioning myself. Um... trying to remember. Now I'm just completely questioning everything. Um, final turn of Trick Room is good. He tries and survives if I Terra, right? It really should. I'll switch to Superior here. Sacrifice the Calm Mind. I don't need it anymore and I will defensively Terra. And while I can, I will get a Zoom Lens Magma Storm into the Articuno. <coughs> I mean, Iron Ball makes a lot of sense, so this Articuno is on the ground. Like, it's not an unreasonable thing, because it also benefits from Trick Room a lot more as well. So, like, it's good. It makes perfect sense. It's just annoying, given the play I went for, because I could have just Dragon Pulse KO'd this Torkoal. And I did not. Now, Heatran, you're clutch, right? You're living... You're definitely living Expanding Force. You're fine. You're fine. Come on. Heatran, you're so clutch. And Superior is also clutch. However, Heatran, you suck! Come on! What is going on? I'm Zoom Lens! That's 90%! Ugh. What? What can I do? Um... Connect this Magma Storm, I better do. Is the sun still up? It is, okay. So I would still KO. I'm still gonna go for Leaf Storm here. I'm still gonna go for Magma Storm. This is getting entirely unreasonable. But the whole point of Zoom Lens is that I actually connect most of the time, and this is not most of the time. Someone please be counting. This is now a 75% chance. Okay, that one connects, and in the sun, that should KO. Right. Okay. Would have been nice to have got a Leaf Storm into the other Pokemon, though, that would have switched in. At least they can only KO one. I really do hope someone's counting, because that... Like, I think that's seven misses now. But I don't know how many hits. But that's got to be a ratio that's skewed the wrong way. It's Fluttermane. Um, don't think I beat Fluttermane now. Unless it's Specs. I need to disable and hope it's Specs. Yeah, that, that will save the game. If I disable a Specs Fluttermane. I'll attempt to... I'll attempt to Terra Blast the Torkoal and put it in Dragon Pulse range. And I will disable a Specs Fluttermane. But it won't matter because they're going to Helping Hands, Terra, Moonblast, KO my Ninetales. So actually the Mammoth Miss didn't matter because they would have been able to Terra Dazz and Gleam. Yeah, Helping Hand, Moonblast, KOs the Ninetales. Oh, it's Dazz and Gleam. Oh, oh, that doesn't KO, right? Ninetales is clutch. Alright, alright. Now, how strong is Fluttermane's struggle? 
Wait, I, yeah, no, I, I, I can on-call the Torko into Helping Hand. Um, Fluttermane's attack is pathetic. It won't, won't do anything. So I'll Thunderclap here, and I'll on-call here. And I think this game is still, still mine. Because Struggle will just do nothing. That's definitely a Specs Fluttermane. Mm hmm. Yeah. And it's not going to KO. There's no way. Yeah, 10. And they're Encore locked. So that's it. Right? Because I can Thunderclap the Fuss Main again and Blizzard. Struggle KOs themselves. Wait, no! Helping hand struggle! No! No! No, 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 don't you dare. Don't you dare steal this away with a helping hand struggle. Don't do it. There's no way this KO is Ninetales. Going to Raging Bolt and I get definitely win. No! No way! No, 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 no. Not good, not good. Um, no, I'm still fine. Two Dragon Pulse are still KOs. They're locked into helping hand for two more. I'm still okay. The struggle KO themselves. <laughs> helping hand struggle plus I mean for the win. Um, almost for the win. But I think I'm still okay, right? It's one turn of Encore. So two Dragon Pulses must KO. It does, right? Ooh. It does. They're going to be Citrus. They're not Citrus. That's like dirty roll territory. Come on, Raging Bolt. Don't you dare. Come on. Whew. That was incredibly close. <laughs> Did not factor in the extra damage from Helping Hand Struggle. <laughs> the GC is so ridiculous.